Following on from the last episode, we have the pins done. We have the spacers done. We have the bearings, we have the nuts. What we needed was some plates. Here's some I made earlier. Just 25 mil by six mil plate with a hole off center to take the pins. Nice. Put that one on. This one next. Doesn't need to be squashed tight, it just needs to be pushed up so it fits. See, we're a bit tight there. Just need to take it back a little bit. Just a tiny little smidge. There we go, that's better. Done. So that is what they look like. Now, I've got a bit of... Uh, oh, I think it's like 12 mil by 2.5, maybe 3 mil. And I'm just gonna cut some strips, a little piece off and tack it there on that flat, on this piece to stop the pin rotating because at the minute the pin can rotate and obviously we want the bearings to rotate so I'll just tack a they're not going to be fully welded, they're just going to have a little, little tack at the top and the bottom just to hold them in place Ah, hello. So here we are, yes, we're going to put a uh, split pin through there so we've got a pair of parallels in I'm just gonna guess it I'm not gonna use the DRO I don't think I need to uh, I'm gonna try and center drill it first before I um, put the drill in so hopefully it'll uh, turn out all right on the night hopefully I have got the depth to get it in
That'll do us. It'll go in. It'll go in. Right, I'll get the other one done. And then we'll think about fitting them. Now, if you're enjoying what you've seen on the channel, I thought I would jump in and tell you ways that you could help support the channel. If you go down to the description box down below, you will find links to our social media pages on Instagram and Facebook. If you would like to support us further by sending us a donation, which will help us create more content for the channel, then we have a thing called Ko-Fi, which you will find the link down below, where basically you can buy me a coffee. And YouTube have added this little feature down below, and it's a symbol of a heart, with a dollar sign in. And yes, you can send us money that way by clicking on that and just sending us some money there. And it will help us create more content for the channel. With that said, let's carry on with the content. Back to the video. So this plate goes on here, like so. Then I might cut it down. So these lovely little contraptions that we've made are to go here and here we have the bird's eye view looking down this piece here is the front of the loco which is an arm which comes along and welds to this which comes from the pivot point on the floor of the chassis which means that this whole section rotates so these don't want to be 90 degrees on this plate no these need twisting like so, and not only that, because we have limited space between the plate and the plate on the bottom of the chassis, these need to sink in. So using the wonders of modern technology, I've done a little CAD drawing. We need to put these slots here in, into this plate, which is the larger rectangle. The smaller rectangle is the outside edge of uh, the frames. So they need to go like that which will put me smack bang probably where this hole is which is annoying because I don't have any material to cut another one of these and I would prefer to keep use this because this was going to be for a different system this was going to be for another idea that we didn't didn't work set up i might have to put another one across here in a minute once we've uh, once i've finished talking but we'll see how it goes because that one's still loose there so they're tight but that's just cannon fodder so if i hit that i know i've gone i'm through i made some t nuts which could go in this front slot here down here i then made this plate which is just a piece of uh bright mild with three m8 holes in to clamp it on so i had a data edge off the front for the uh angle finder very useful those highly recommend getting one of those digital too so i could then set this to the 13.42 uh and, but before i did that this top plate i put the uh a center hole in i found the center and then i could use my revolving center to make sure that it was kept where I, where we set it and then i zero zero the dro so we now know that that on this plate is zero zero Hence, these measurements to find this point here. And then from here, we know it's 30 mil, uh, 42 mil apart. 
or 43 in fact it's 43 mil apart and uh, they're 60 mil long these slots so now we can uh, set the DRO well set this to uh, this point here so I'll put a cutter in and uh, we'll put some lines in and see what happens so what we've discovered is uh, yeah first attempt was wrong uh, second attempt was wrong third attempt is um, better so it'll start to go in which I think is good because we can knock that in uh, but this this doesn't matter we can fill that with weld once we weld the ends so yeah I'm pretty pleased with that Right, so it goes in, it's um, tight, that's how we want it, but I'm going to have to come up with some way of setting this in here because obviously it's very close there for us to get that nut off, and it's I think it's touching on the other side, that head at pin, so I might have to put a bit of relief on, but these roll alright, I'm going to give it a bit more down the centre, because I think if them bearings were, they'll start rubbing on this plate here on edges. So that's it for this video. And if you haven't already, then please do click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video, which could be on absolutely anything. And if you could give it the thumbs up, you will help the video and the channel share around the YouTube algorithm and spread it to like-minded people like yourself. And if you like what you've seen, then check this video out over here because that one could be of interest to you. Stay safe. Ladies, it's a good video, that. Huh?